And joining us now direct from New York City is Mr. William Gorfine. William is the CEO of a company called Pure Logics Incorporated. Their stock symbol is L-O-G-X. William, welcome back to the show. Thanks for having me again, Don. Now, we've been talking the last few weeks about your company's ability to track and catalog the users of torrent files to target them for banner ads. Can you explain that again? Sure. So what we've done is we've built the first digital link between the torrent population and advertisers. So as a quick refresher, um, torrent is a platform used by about 140 million people worldwide where they access their TV shows, music, and movies for free by downloading them. And you know, to date, this has been you know, an existing platform for quite some time. But what we decided to do was we were going to build a link for advertisers to be able to reach this population of people with uh, branding and messaging in general for any wider range of um, products and messaging. Well, the entertainment industry has spent millions trying to stop torrents, but you've developed a solution that creates revenue from them. Right. Well, again, you know, this has been around for a while, um, upwards of 15 years that this torrent platform has existed. And we've identified it as a shift, a shift in the entertainment industry. It's also a shift in behavior in the way that people actually access their media. We saw it start actually in, in Napster and peak to, well, with respect to Napster in about 2001, but the population of people accessing content in this manner has not slowed down at all. So by correctly defining it as a shift, we've begun the process of re-educating the entertainment industry on how to actually handle the population of people, but more importantly, repatriate and monetize this population of people. And that's what we've set out to do. William, you recently had a very interesting success story. Can you share that with us? Right, that's correct. So we ran an advertising campaign for our client, the Way Home Music Festival. And you know, a quick, quick refresher on this festival itself. There are about 41 artists playing at the festival. And what we did was we targeted anyone within a 200-mile radius of the venue whom were confirmed listeners of any, of the, any of those 41 artists on Torrent. And what we did was we helped them sell additional tickets. We targeted these people with ads for ticket sales. And our advertisements to the Torrent, the Torrent population actually performed about 81% better, better in engagement than that of a control group that was run side by, side by side, showing that you know, our population, our access to Torrent users, a very, very valid and very valuable group of people to include within advertising and what this did for our clients was you know aside from of course the increase in ticket sales but it also decreased their overall netted acquisition cost for selling these tickets as a whole so overall is a big success and we're seeing a lot of a lot of interest since this time and since announcing those very positive results of the advertising campaign well advertisers like their target data to be rather specific can you deliver what they're looking for Right. So again, you know, on the Torrent platform and everything we track, these are people who have taken an affirmative action to either watch or listen, again, to any TV show, music, or movie that they've acquired through the Torrent platform. And this is really the next iteration and the next progression of targeted advertising because to date what's been very popular are advertising you know, platforms such as search advertising, Google search advertising being a very dominant one, which is merely someone's expression of curiosity and then targeting ads based on that curiosity. So for example, Don, you and I, we may search for a speedboat online and I can't speak for you, but I can speak for myself when I say I'm by no means in the market to buy a speedboat. But you know, if someone actually downloads something on Torrent, they've actually watched it or listened to it. And you know, it's a step further than curiosity. It's, it's actual transaction. So we're really seeing the markets move away from curiosity-based advertising and moving towards transactional-based advertising, which is what we're able to provide. Once again, the company is Pure Logics Incorporated, stock symbols L-O-G-X. William, fabulous update. Thanks so much. Thanks again for having me.